Hello, and welcome to my channel. Thank you all for your generous unwavering support at Twitch and YouTube over the past month. Your support motivates me to provide you with more weekly Fallout 76 content. In this video, I'm going to share with you a trick on how to do two colossal problem events in one nuke. I hope you like it. The mechanics of how instances work is very unique and random in Fallout 76. From past experiences, it shows that you and your team can only enter an event instance such as a colossal problem. Hence, if you want to be in the same instance with your friends, you can only rely on being in a party of three friends or be lucky enough to be matchmaking into the same instance. If you're playing in a server of six friends, there are chances where you won't be able to be in the same instance as your friends. Hence, both teams would be concurrently fighting Earl at the same time. Hence, this video will show you how to join an instance which is already closed on the map. There is another way to join a closed instance. Before I start, I would like to share three reasons for doing this trick. Firstly, it is to save a friend. For example, if one of your friends was unlucky stuck in an instance alone, you can join him to assist him with his Earl. Commonly, you will also notice people creating public teams to signal that they need help. You have to pay attention closely to who is in the Earl event. Secondly, you may have gotten disconnected while you were in the Colossal Problem event. Don't despair. There's a way to rejoin your party's event. Thirdly, with every completion of a colossal problem, you will have a chance of getting a random roll of a three-star weapon or armor from the purveyor pool of items. This event reward is similar to the rewards attained from the Scorched Earth event. There are three main conditions for this trick to work. Firstly, there must be another concurrent team doing this event. Secondly, the team must have one empty slot for you to join whether or not. The team has killed Earl in their instance, is partially immaterial as you are more interested in the event reward, and not the legendary loot that Earl drops after it dies. Thirdly, the instance which you are trying to join, must not be full. If that instance has eight players in it, you will receive an error message of not being able to join their instance, despite meeting the first two conditions. So, with this knowledge, let's see some gummy play. After killing the Earl in your instance, you can either wait to join your friend's team, or you could help your existing team scout for another team who is concurrently in the Colossal Problem event. Look on your map, to see who else is at the Monunga Mine. Then check if their team has an empty slot for you to join. After you have exited your instance, you can proceed to join the other team. Once you have joined the other team, you will not see the Colossal Problem event on your map. It will not be visible. The trick is to go into your friend list or party menu, and click Fast Travel. That method will magically teleport you to the instance. Once you're in the instance, you should count the number of people in the instance and rejoin back your original team. After which, you can signal your friends to join your instance by getting them to fast travel to you using the friend list or party menu. If the Earl is about to perish and die, do not drop down into the mine but wait for the rocks to crumble and exit so as to get your event rewards. The event rewards are more important. So, what do you think? Is this trick useful? Have you ever experienced a game crash while doing the Colossal Problem event? Do let me know in the comments section below. Well, almost near the end of this video, I hope you have enjoyed and I look forward to your future viewership. Remember to like, comment and suggest new ideas for my next video. You can also support me on Twitch as I stream regularly.